Preparing for a midnight feast or what? Ah, food and feast the only two things you can think of, Kut Kut. Besides, there's still a few hours left for midnight. For your information. If you get up and about, old man, any time becomes midnight. Oh, really? Like you go nuts every time you see a nut anywhere? Speaking of which, where did you get such a colossal walnut from? Never seen any bigger in my life before. Neither have I. And I am called the Nutty Professor by all the squirrels all across the meadows of Chiranbal. I spotted it yesterday, lying under the walnut tree by the little mirror pond on the way to the river. Tried rolling it down here, just couldn't. So today morning, I borrowed the wheelbarrow of Mola the Mole as he lay blissfully asleep in his burrow and have managed to bring it back home. Should last me a month at least. Unless you and your two guests gorge on it tonight. Who are they, by the way? The introductions would have been done by now if you had ceased your non-stop chatter, Kut Kut. Children, why don't you let the naughty professor know who you are? I am Dhyanata. And I am Roshan. And as I am sure you have guessed by now, I am Kut Kut. Also known as the Nutcracker, in addition to the naughty professor. I have many names. Well, now that we know each other, you can lend me your hands to unload the nut before the mole comes sniffing for his wheelbarrow. Sure, we will be glad to. No, 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 no! Put it there, put it there! That's right! That was a tough nut to control. Thanks for your help, not that you did much apart from... Before you go, give me a hug. Give me a hug. I love hugs. of which he has learned from his dad. You can now enter forth with confidence. May God be with you, Dayanita and Roshan. To you too, Miss Puri. I will see you again. I promise. We will see you, Oha. Whenever and wherever. I wonder what the world is coming to. Who put such ridiculous ideas in children's heads? Must be the crop of these modern teachers. There's this particular school in India that I've heard of, the Zirubai Ambani International School. They are known all over for putting only the right ideas in their students' heads. Dare to dream, learn to excel is their motto. Education must not be static. It must continuously evolve, they say. And the children, they go revolving around the globe in a mad rush to improve the world, making our lives miserable in the process. Really? Atrocious. I support what the Countess proposed. I haven't really proposed anything as yet, but thank you for your support anyway, Mr. Shifty No Good. I propose that we must get the children to come here. We must tempt them away from their road to perfection and bring them to a palace of temptation. Great idea! We'll grab the kids. Lady Grabber, do not always be so besotted with the idea of grabbing. Be more subtle, more politically correct. We will entice the kids to come here on their own. What idea? But how? India is so far away. I know how. I am in close touch with the dreaded Transylvanian gang of goons, the Chucklehead clan. We will send them, the masters of craftiness, on our air albatross flight to India. They will waylay the children and induce them to come here voluntarily to our palace of temptation. 
the place to lead a perfect life filled with candies and junk food, toys, and no school. Which child will be able to resist that? Yippee! You are such an admirably evil genius, Countess. Brilliante, Countess Griziola, brilliante! I still think that grabbing works better than molly coddling, but go ahead anyway. I will text them the details of the mission and ask them to report here, ASAP. Done. They should be here shortly. You are so fantastically wicked, Countess. I wish I could be like you. I do. Stick by me, girl, and I will teach you all the trickery that is there to be learned. I will teach you to be as maliciously magnificent. <laughs>